Welcome to Outdoor Madness, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. I am Kerry Clark. All right, you are looking at a 2024 Kawasaki Mule Pro FX 1000. Yes, we are finally, finally starting to see the 2024 mules out here in Southern California. I don't know why, but it seems like back east, they get all the 2024, all the new models first. Maybe because they're more popular back there. I don't know. But uh, they've already got dealers back in, you know, uh, Texas and all these other places um, that are already selling these things. And out here, we're just now starting to get them in. But that's what you're looking at. A new Kawasaki Mule Pro FX 1000. But now, there's something special about this model. All right? This is the HD edition. And the HD stands for two things. It stands for heavy duty, and it also stands for something really cool. Oh, did you notice? I got my Kawasaki glasses on. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, let me take these things off because I'm blind as a bat, I can't see anything. Ah, yeah, there we go. All right, so, this is the HD edition. Stands for heavy duty and it also stands for something else. Okay, so to dump the bed, of course you need to unlatch that right there, which we already did. And you come over here and you have another latch right here. Well, these are both done. Now, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come inside, you're gonna turn the key on, get some power. And now you're gonna come right over here to this switch and watch what happens. <laughs> A hydraulic dump bed, you guys, yes. You can see the cylinders right there. There's the motor right there. And there you have it. A hydraulic dump bed, yes, Kawasaki came through. Now just imagine how easy it's going to be to dump heavy loads by yourself. You don't have to have two people. You just push this button right here and you can dump everything out. So while we got the bed up, let's take a look. There's the new 999 CC parallel twin fuel injected motor. Man, I tell you, so nice. All right, let me grab my light because I want you guys to see all this. Okay, something else that Kawasaki did is they put in a new air filter. So there's your air filter right there, and they also did a new snorkel intake, okay? So right here, there's your snorkel. You can see it coming up right here. And then, of course, it sucks in the air right there. Can you see that? That's where it sucks in the air right there. And now... This is pretty much the same right here as uh, last year's uh, mule. But you just pull this panel off. There's a clamp right there, and then there's another clamp right here. And you have your air filter access. And you just flip them down like this. <laughs> and there it is. There's your new air filter. Access to your battery right there. And here is your dipstick to check the oil. Now, something else I think that's really neat that Kawasaki did. So, there's your oil filter right there. But you see that little trough that they put in? That's nice because now you don't have to worry about when you pull that oil filter off, oil running down onto your motor. That will catch the oil. Just something else to make the maintenance a lot easier and a lot cleaner. Uh, when it comes to doing the maintenance on this unit. Now, I want to show you guys something else that's really neat. So let's go around to this side. Hopefully you can see this. So, let's try to get the camera in here. All right. Right there. Hopefully you can see it. I'm trying to shine the light on it. It's kind of hard to see. But that, my friends, is an alternator. Yes. Kawasaki incorporated an alternator on the new Mule 
Pro 1000. Yes, and it's got a, a, bur a belt, a serve belt, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, the other side, what it would do, let's check this out. So on this side right here, right there, you see that black plastic panel. Um, that's the cover for the alternator belt right there. So you know what that means. You don't have to worry about your battery going dead. Okay. Alternator. That's what I think all of these vehicles need. And think about when it comes to adding accessories, you know, your, your, uh, your lights that you might want to put on this. You don't have to worry about it. You know, you got that alternator that will keep everything charged up, which I think is, is just awesome. I'm so glad they did it. Not a stator, but an alternator. So something else that I wanted to tell you guys about this new unit too. So these are the exact same brand and same size tires that came on the 2023 Mule Pro FX. But now this Mule has more suspension travel, has more ground clearance. Now, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll just put a taller tire on it to give you more ground clearance, but Kawasaki didn't do that. What they did is they put on a new double wishbone suspension front and back. So let's take a good look at this. Get my light again. Okay, right there, that's the upper A-arm. Does that look familiar to you? Well, right here, this is a 2023 Kawasaki Terex S, which stands for suspension. Now take a look at the A-arm. All right, same arched A-arm, all right? Just like the KRXs. But now, of course, this one is shorter. All right. This one is longer because this is a wider machine. It's a three passenger, but this is how they achieve the suspension travel and the ground clearance. By mounting, putting that bracket on the outside of this A-arm, it allows Kawasaki to put a longer shock on, which gives you more wheel travel, and it also gives you more ground clearance because that shock is going to push the whole unit up. That's how they did it. I mean, I can't wait to get this thing out on the trail and just see how smooth it is. I mean, the other... Uh, 2023 Mule uh, Pro FX was, was really smooth. I can only imagine what this one's going to be like. And then in the back, now what you have is you have these new uh, self-leveling shocks. So basically what you have is you have oil inside of there. When you put weight in the bed, of course, it's going to squat down. And uh, once you start driving, that oil moves around and it's going to raise the bed up automatically. So pretty neat like the way Kawasaki did this. So uh, let's go ahead and start this thing up. But what I want to do first is let's close it back. Let's go over here. I want you guys to hear the engine because you know that three cylinder uh, engine was really quiet. So I was wondering, you know, when Kawasaki decided to go with this new, <clears throat> the new motor, was it going to be just as quiet? So the only way to find out is to start it up. So let's close this back up and we'll leave that cover off for now. But now let's close the bed down too. So we'll go right over here, back to the switch. Nice steel bed, nice and strong. All right, now let's fire them up. Still nice and quiet, you guys. I still think the three cylinder is a little bit quieter. Once we get it out on the trail, uh, we'll know for sure, but you can see, I'm standing right here talking to you guys and I'm right next to it. Let's get inside the cab, sit down. Yeah. 
pretty quiet. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering if this new 1000 motor was going to be just as quiet because that's what's nice. You know, a lot of companies use the mules when they do tours. Um, I took a tour a while back over at a, a ranch up in Cambria and they used Kawasaki mules to take you around the property to give you a tour. And that's one of the things. You need a quiet motor because of course you're talking to people as you're taking the tour, but still nice and quiet. Now, if you guys remember, there's some breaking news from Kawasaki and this is really exciting you guys. So let's go inside and let's go to the computer because I want you guys to hear about this. Okay, you guys, so the breaking news from Kawasaki is right here. The off-road experience tour. That's right. You're going to be able to experience Kawasaki's rugged side-by-sides, ATVs firsthand in a new interactive and eye-catching space. We're bringing our rugged lineup to many of the country's largest events, including farm shows, racing events, concerts, rodeos, select NASCAR events, and many more. All right, so I'm pretty sure just about any of you guys that are into side-by-sides, you've heard of the Sand Sports Super Show. Every September, out here in Southern California, at the Orange County Fairgrounds in Costa Mesa, California, they have the Sand Sports Super Show. So let's go right here to the tour dates. We're going to click on there. All right, and we're going to scroll down, and like, if you guys want to see when this experience is coming to your area, just go on Kawasaki's website, and you'll find all the dates, just like what we're doing right now. All right, right here, September the 15th through the 17th is the Sand Sports Super Show in Costa Mesa, California, and Kawasaki is going to be doing uh, the road experience or this, this demo tour. So, really neat. When you open it up, um, you take a look at it here. Here's the times. Friday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, of course, you're going to have to buy a ticket to get in to uh, the fairgrounds or to get into the show. But then you can go over to Kawasaki's booth. All right. Not only do you get to sit in these things like you used to all the time, ask questions, <clears throat> but now you get to ride in them. You know, you get to check out the new mules the KRX, the, uh, the Terex, and Kawasaki ATV. So I really think that's, that's neat. Something that, um, that everyone should do. Everyone should check these things out close um, and take a ride in them because that's how you're going to know if you really like them. And you're going to be able to just to see how smooth they are. Of course, you can't take a long ride, but whatever they have set up there is going to be neat. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be filming. I'm also going to be interviewing people when they come off of the course just to see how much they enjoyed it. So, Costa Mesa, California, uh, September the 15th through the 17th. And they're also going to be uh, going to different cities near you. So, check their website. And we're also going to be doing a full review on this unit you guys just saw. 2024 Kawasaki Mule Pro FX. It's a heavy duty. It's got the hydraulic dump bed. That means we're going to put it to the test. I'm Kerry Clark for Outdoor Madness. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Don't forget to give us the thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep the channel growing. And you know the story. I'll see you somewhere in the great outdoors. <laughs>